open day. Quite excited. Um, yeah, it's nice to always talk to matric students, give them an understanding of what we do and all that jazz. But yeah, so right now I'm on my way. Baja. So essentially, Baja. this is the presentation. Welcome to Tex Baja. Uh -huh. This is the Baja vehicle. So essentially, we built the car from scratch, right? Except standard components like the wheels, the engine, but essentially, we built everything from scratch. We design, we manufacture, we test, and then we go to America and we have fun. And we do fun stuff. Hooray! Yeah, we're mechanical engineers. <laughs> And what are we doing now? What's this whole event about? Yo, man, it's, it's what's this thing? UK Eve Day. Eve Day, yeah. yeah. So, so. The open happening? day. Yeah, yeah so it's where matric students come. Matric students, and yeah, they come here to, to care see about what us. What they want to do yeah. with them. Yeah, 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 definitely. On so, a more honest note, I feel like it's pretty impressive because, like, you were once at this point in your life where you went and you were curious and you were enthusiastic and you were asking people questions about, like, what did they want to do about their life. Like, what am I saying? Yeah, you were enthusiastic about like the future and like your career and stuff like that. Now you're the one who's inspiring other people. So it's pretty impressive it to be impressive. In, in this in this position to be here and stuff. Even though I had to wake up at like half past five <laughs> like in the morning. Sure, sure. I half past five, not six. I will. Yeah, half past five. Up. Great. But yeah, fun times, fun times. Man. And also got to grab the car as well. Yeah, that's that was fun. fun. Hey, that was yes, fun. Sir. Tell us anything, man. Number one, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, like, follow. Yeah. But yeah, uh, like you said, open there. It's quite nice. And also, when I joined, I didn't know much about vehicles. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know much about it. But now, like, I'm part of the team that's designing this whole thing. Yeah. From scratch, yeah, yeah. Which is quite cool. So I've learned a lot. I'd say that. Yeah. And yeah. Sorry. Hey. It's about the time that you give it to me. Okay, halfway through open day. Um, so we went to get some stuff from the Baja locker. I'm going back now. So, yeah, halfway through the day. Um, just spoke to some high school kids, told them about mechanical engineering, what we do at Baja, 
it's always nice to inspire the next generation you know and yeah it's about the time that you give it to me You want more than million, tougher than silicon, nobody finer. You want more than million, tougher than silicon, nobody finer. Pay to lie, take me wine, slow wine. It's about the time. The did you give it to me? It's about the time. Did you give it to me? Alright, Sipa. What what do we have here? Take us through the components of So the my research, man, is on the drive chain. So the drive chain is how power goes from your engine. So your engine is sitting here to your wheels. So there'll be wheels and wheels here. So yeah, like here, see you have, it's gonna go through, there'll normally be a CV joint and then your drive shaft and then here, it's called a differential. And what a differential does is it allows your wheels to spin at different speeds. And why you'd want that to happen is if you're going into a corner, your wheel on your outside has to grab, travel a greater distance than your wheel on the inside. So it has to travel the same, a larger distance in the same time. So without this diff, that wheel would start slipping because it wouldn't be able to keep up. But because of this, you can see it separates these two shafts. So your outside wheel here can turn faster than this inside wheel when you're going into a corner and vice versa. So, then, so your drive train starts here from your wheels. It goes here to your diff, your differential, and it goes into your propeller shaft here. So this propeller shaft, it's going to turn, and it's going to turn because of your engine, and then here you have your gearbox. So your gearbox is just gears of different sizes. So every time you change gears on your gear stick, it's engaging and disengaging your gears of different sizes, and it changes your gear ratio. And all that means is it changes how much power or torque is going from your engine into your wheels. So that's what a gear ratio is simply. So there is that. And then it's connected to your flywheel. They call this a flywheel. And from your flywheel, you can see you have your pistons here, which, are, which obviously move up and down. And then you have your, here are your spark plugs. Yeah, it's just yeah. Here they call it a fan belt or whatever. So normally it's just a belt and it keeps your crankshaft at the bottom and your camshaft here at the top. It makes them rotate in unison. So it's normally a timing belt. So like here. But this is not exactly but yeah, that's a timing belt. And then the tension of it, they can't see it, it's inside. That's my research. I'm researching this belt and the tensioner and the whole drivetrain of the car. So this just makes sure that the belt is kept tight. So they call it an eccentric tensioner, which is very cool. But yeah. And then obviously you have your suspension here. This just absorbs your shock when you go over speed bumps and then it dissipates the energy. So it's got a specific stiffness depending on the car. But yeah. That's part of your suspension. And then here, normally you'll have your A-arms. And this just connects your wheel to your chassis of the car. So normally, it's, they call it A-arms because it's in the shape of an A. But yeah. Kana, oh, Kana. Girl, you bust my head, Kana. You can't 